Do you need to adapt a tech draw workbench template for your needs? Stick around and I'll show you how to do it. The tech draw workbench comes with a number of templates, but what happens if you need something slightly different? You could create a new one, or you could modify an existing one. Today, I'm going to show you how to take an existing template and modify it to suit your needs. Now let's get started. I'm going to have to use a separate program that allows me to create and modify SVG files and the XML that's in them. I'm going to use Inkscape for this. The process of modifying an existing template is very similar to the process of creating a new one. Inkscape is available on Windows, Mac and Linux. There is a link in the description to the Inkscape website where you can download the software. I'm using Inkscape version 1.1.1 on Linux for this demonstration. Inkscape has a lot of features, but I'm only going to touch on the features that are needed to create the template. I'm going to customize the A4 portrait template that is supplied with FreeCAD and create an A5 portrait template. First thing I'm going to do is open FreeCAD's A4 portrait template with Inkscape. An A5 page is half the size of an A4 page, so I'll use the document properties tool to set the size of the paper. So we come to file, come down to document properties, and in the custom size, we set the width to be 148.5, which is half the width of an A4 page, and the height to be 210, which is the height of the A4 page. I'm going to move the template into position. So I'm going to make it six millimeters from the top left corner. And then I'm going to resize the whole of the template by holding down the control key, clicking on the bottom right handle and holding it down and then moving the mouse to get it into position. Clicking the control key and scaling the items means that the aspect ratio between the X and Y axis remains the same, so they are scaled proportionally. Now I'm going to save that template, and I'm going to call it A5 Portrait. And that should be all that I need to do, but I'm going to come to FreeCAD and we're going to check it. So I'm going to change the template now, and we do that by selecting the template element under the page and coming down to its attribute in the data tab called template. And we'll just select the template that I've just created. And you can see that it scaled reasonably well, but there are a few problems with it. Most notably is that the green boxes that represent the editable text and the click areas where you can edit them are outside the template. Now you can still edit things. So if I change the author name to say Fred, you can see you change it. But if you were to zoom in on the page, those little green boxes would disappear and it would look like you can't actually edit the template. So we're going to need to fix that. So we'll need to switch back to Inkscape to do it. To actually make the corrections, we're going to need to use the XML editor. So we pull down the edit menu and open the XML editor tool and you can see that it's split into two parts. The top part contains all the XML tags or elements that make up the drawing. The bottom half shows the attributes for each of those elements. Now, the one we're interested in is, first of all, the one that represents the drawings, and that's in as a group. And you can see in its attributes that there is a transform. Now that transform attribute was added to the group because we scaled the original template. And unfortunately, it, it would appear that the tech draw workbench in FreeCAD is not able to process that properly. So what we want to do is get rid of it. And the best way to do that is to explode the drawing and then remove all the transforms. Now that can be a lot of work. So what we're going to try and do is make it a little bit easier for us. So first of all, what we'll do is we'll ungroup the whole of the template and break it down into smaller parts so we can just work on the smaller parts. By ungrouping the whole of the template, you'll see that there are multiple parts now. So where we had, we didn't have a rectangle, we now do because that was inside the group. We now have a group that represents the title block. And if I expand that, you'll see there are other bits in it. So what I'm going to do is take the transform of the title block and that'll expand it back to normal. So move it into position. We will scale it. As you can see, there is no transform on there now. Now, if I save that and we come back to FreeCAD and change template again, we should see that it has resolved the problem. So it looks like we missed a couple, right? But most of them are in place. So let's go and have another look in Inkscape and see what we need to do. So it would appear that there are some text boxes in here that still have the transform on it, I think. And it's just a matter of stepping through each of the text items to find the one or the ones that have the information there. Okay, so maybe they're in, well, they shouldn't be in the non-editable ones. So you can see it could be a little bit fiddly depending what you do and how you do it. So I'm just going to step through each of the text items and see what I can see. 
think that's one of them because it this one doesn't have any text associated with it but it's also not showing it same with that one that one that one yes yeah, they're the ones in here i'm not quite sure how they actually create them in the first place it doesn't appear that i can actually fix it as by you know through the xml editor i think what we'll do is we'll delete them the ones we don't need save that come back to precad reapply the template so you can see i've got rid of most of them uh there is that one down the bottom which we can remove then what i would think we would do is we would just go back and create some new ones you can see how easy it is for us to modify the template and put things into the drawing so i'm going to add some more text i'm going to add the precad editable tag to it and then try to remove the text itself that in it. Does that get rid of it? No, it doesn't get rid of it, which is good. That's what I was hoping for. Just makes it difficult on the Inkscape side to actually put them in. So in my own ones, I've actually removed it because I don't think it's any point having the blank ones there, but that's just my case. Your case might be different, so you could go ahead and do this. So you can see how I've added a blank one, and then we just put some text in there you could do this and fix it to suit yourself as your needs require so you can see this method isn't foolproof some of it has to do with the way inkscape shows these empty text boxes but if you need them like i've just shown you you could put them in then remove the content and save the template and because it's inkscape we can change some of the styles of the other attributes so i'll show you how we can do that i'm going to open up the fill and stroke so what we'll do is we'll just change the outer border to be dot dash and we'll change its color to be blue we'll change the text on this particular entry box to be bold and seven points then when i save the template come back into free cad those changes should appear as well so you can customize your templates to suit the needs that you have. You can change colors. If you want to do full color style printing, you can have all sorts of colors in there. Um, for my needs, I just need black and so on. So I don't bother with that, but you could do it if you wish. Well, I hope you found that interesting. If you find this content useful, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support the channel financially, you can do so by buying me a cup of coffee through the link in the description below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.